Hi, in the previous lesson, Cairo formed Cairo PLC and now is expected to publish its final accounts annually. The final accounts are accounts prepared at the final stage of the accounting cycle to determine profit or loss and the financial position of a business concern. The final accounts of a company are the trading profit and loss account, appropriation account and balance sheet. In this lesson, we will see how the trading profit and loss account is prepared. The trading profit and loss account shows the sales made by a company and the profit at the end of each year. Let's look at the format for a company's trading profit and loss account. From the sales, the cost of goods sold is deducted to get the gross profit after which all expenses incurred during the year would be deducted to obtain the net profit or loss. Let's see how this format is used in Cairo PLC. It is over a year since Cairo PLC was established and the accountant has been required to prepare the trading profit and loss account for the year. He has been given the statement of account, trial balance, and additional information alongside other evidences of payments and receipts. We would assist Tano in preparing the trading profit and loss account. Cairo PLC made a total sales of 530,000 Naira, but goods worth 10,000 Naira were returned as a result of damages. These are called return inwards. They will be deducted from the expected sales value to get the net sales. So the net sales in this case is 530,000 Naira minus 10,000 Naira. This equals 520,000 Naira. The next step is to get the cost of making the goods that was sold to earn the sales 530,000 Naira. At the beginning of the year, Cairo PLC had some available stock worth 40,000 Naira. This was not enough, so they purchased more stock worth 20,000 Naira. They were heavy, and so Mr. Cairo had to use a truck to transport them to the company. He paid the truck driver 2,000 Naira. This is known as carriage inwards. However, out of the stock purchased, a few stocks worth 5,000 Naira were torn and so had to be returned. This is known as the returns outwards. This will reduce the value Cairo is expected to pay his suppliers. So, we can say the total purchases would be 20,000 Naira plus the carriage inwards of 2,000 Naira minus the return outwards of 5,000 Naira. This is equal to 17,000 Naira. This would be added to the opening stock of 40,000 Naira to give the sum of 57,000 Naira. Now, at the end of the year, Tano counted the remaining stock to be 15,000 Naira. This means that the remaining stock is the cost of goods sold. This would be 57,000 Naira minus 15,000 Naira. The cost of goods sold is 42,000 Naira. To get the gross profit, the cost of goods sold is deducted from the net sales. So, 520,000 Naira minus 42,000 Naira equals a gross profit of 478,000 Naira. Well done for making it this far. In the next lesson, we will introduce the different expenses of a company and how to get the net profit. I'll be seeing you there.